good evening. We're actually back at Bottoms Pleasure Beach. We came last year. We just come down to Skegness for the weekend. It's very late, just to let you know. It's uh, quarter to seven. I know you like these late vlogs, but uh, bargain actually. If you come after five o'clock, the um, the all right wristband's only twelve pounds after five. Apparently, we've been told it's got to close between eight and nine o'clock. Not sure about that. I might get an hour. Might get a couple of hours. The walls are here. Run on the giant Ferris wheel first. There's actually another Ferris wheel just up the road there as well. So we're going to check that out. We're going to Fantasy Island tomorrow to check out Millennium. It's repaint and a few of the newer rides have got there as well. So again, it works on a token based system. Uh, all your wrist straps. Uh, wristband, sorry. I would say wrist strap because I've got my GoPro attached. Yeah, uh, I did a little clip just to start off the uh, the video of where we're staying at the B&B, the Sun Hotel, just across the road. It's all right for what we've paid. It's not too bad. There's a nice view out of the window on the balcony looking across the sea there. It's very nice, uh, very quiet. There, everyone's been at, sat at home watching the Royal Wedding today. I just want to say as well, anyone who's been to Blackpool Pleasure Beach today, I hope you've enjoyed Icon. Sadly, I didn't really see the point in buying the VIP card. We'd rather wait a few weeks until the uh, until the hype's died down a bit and then we'll get on it. I plan to go back with Tom and Stacey uh, for the nighttime event, uh, so it should be good. Uh, but yeah, I have seen Icon all over social media today. Facebook, Instagram, other channels have been and posted stuff and it looks amazing and I can say for a fact straight away it will be a top UK coaster for me as well it just looks so good and after going on um, Helix a couple of weeks ago as well I could safely say that I really enjoy the uh, the Matt Lawrence coasters uh, Icon looks a bit slower not as much steaming but it looks really nice what they've done with it added a few extra things as well uh, like the tunnels with the smoke and some sound effects looks really good so yeah we're at Bottoms Pleasure Beach today got a few rides a few coaster credits you've got the uh, uh, I forget the names rock and roller up there there's a caterpillar just there uh, there's another Queen Bee suspended kids coaster at the back uh, a lot of mine train which wasn't too bad we did last time so there's the uh, four coaster credits I think it's four uh, Vortex as well I think it's called Vortex I'm going to try and see if I can get on that one. And uh, yeah, let's get on the Ferris wheel. Oh, <laughs> I thought we, thought we were going to stop to let some more people on. Uh, yeah, I was just saying about Icon, about the, um, the VR pay boarding cards I mean it was an amazing thing to do and they've probably they probably sold quite a lot of them but unfortunately with my job as well I can't just sort of book a day off and guarantee if I'm working or not so I couldn't I didn't want to risk that as well um, yeah so we'll be going in a few weeks time so don't worry icon will be coming I can't wait to get on it it does look good we're at uh, like I said we're at bottoms today uh, just want to say as well I probably mentioned it in the last vlog this was probably the first ever amusement park I ever went to as a kid because I was born in Boston uh, just up the road and I lived in a small town just up the road as well uh, so we used to come here um, quite a lot when I was a, a kid from what I remember I can remember the coasters and things being on the roof uh, I think I came here before I even went to, to Morecambe where I was living but yeah we got on I think it's setting off now anyway but yeah it's a lovely place in Skegness Unfortunately, I believe it or not, it actually got voted one of the worst seaside towns in the UK. But from what I can see, it's a really nice town. You know, it's got amazing beaches with a stunning view. It's got the, the park, it's got, you know, Butlins up the road, very famous Butlins. Fantasy Island, of course. It's lovely. It's, it's in the middle of nowhere. It takes you out. It took us nearly, well, just over two hours to get here. There's a Revitron log flume over there but that's paid extra i think the girl said it was two pound fifty for that so i might have a go on that i think you got a few laps on this one Yeah, no 
a bad uh, ferris wheel that I was just saying uh, on when we was on the ride I don't understand why there's another one just up the road there's no one on it it's exactly the same height and everything so doesn't seem a point it's probably an independent company that's making a bit of extra money from the uh, the holidays and the nice weather we're having here in the UK it's really nice weather again today well last Saturday was a bit rainy but Poulton's Park was uh, was stunning so going on rocky roller it says strictly no end we're on the wrong side <laughs> I'll go back to you in a second. That way. Right. Take two. <laughs> right on this side. Yeah, rock and roller. See uh Fabry Wild Mouse. I've done a few of these now. The other one's at uh, Great Yarmouth Ple Pleasure Beach. I remember this being pretty wild and coming out of the seat quite a bit as well. So I'll just show you tickets in the little booth here. Are we on? Oh, here we go. Right. <laughs> it did actually just stop a few a few minutes then. We had to, we were told to get off. Oh, get off and come back on again. Yeah, lovely views out of there. Here we go. <laughs> They're not as good as the Revitrons. Yeah, I remember this being what? Being pretty crazy. We're both sat at either end. Whoa! <laughs> Rocky roller. Oh! oh, make sure your phone up come out of your pocket. Oh! Oh! Oh, oh my god! Oh! Oh, oh, we've got to back up, don't forward. I remember this corner being crazy, watch. Hold on. Oh, straight to a corner. Ah! Ah! Oh. 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 Ow. That was sharp. <laughs> what a coaster. Lovely view though, look at that, stunning. Not too bad. It's it's fairly smooth. It, yeah, the transitions on the corners are mental. Oh, especially that one here. Yeah, totally bonkers. Spinning mouse, that it really is. It's, it's crazy that one. We we're actually saying we think it was more bonkers last time we came on it last year, and that especially that last corner. My God, so we come down a drop straight to a corner, it throws you out of the seat. Uh, yeah, probably go and do the uh, ghost train next. I've already done the big apple before. It's just a standard pinfari caterpillar, big apple, crazy worms, whatever you want to call them. Well, yeah, here are your prices anyway. Hello! <laughs> uh, here are your. Uh, 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 I'll tell you something and then I get lost. Did did have the prices on it somewhere. Oh, here we are, yeah. All day wristbound, 18 quid from five, it's £12. So that's not too bad, is that at all, really? Especially when you've only got a couple of hours to kill. Like I said, we'll be at Fantasy Island tomorrow. I'll tell you what, I might even give the, uh, the waltzer a go. Right, next up, classic ghost train. Just wanted to get away from the locomotion. <laughs> Remember this one being all right, actually, last time we came on it. Tesla low level light on it again. It's not a bad part, good pirate ship there. There's some other flat rides and things there as well.
train. Here we go on Queen Bee, uh, the 2002 Pinfari inverted family coaster. I'm trying something different here uh, with the GoPro. I've got, actually got the uh, got it in got it in super view. See what that's like. I've turned the stabilisation off as well. Was on the on the whole train. wasn't too bad. Like I said, tried something different there, got a super wide POV. If it's any good, when I watch it back, I might try and do a few more POVs in super view. Because at the moment, the thing is with the GoPro 6, I don't know if the 5 is the same, but when you've got the stabilisation on, and in, you've got it in, in wide, it actually crops out 10% of the picture. So, it's either have it shaky cam, or have it nice and steady. Uh, right, last, uh, oh, the, it's not the last one because the other one was the caterpillar but the last coaster that here to show you anyway is a runaway train uh, so we did this last year i remember it being pretty good actually some of the mm, some of the theming could do with a bit of working on it you'll see it a bit more when we're on the ride uh, but when it was brand new it was probably all right i'll just i'll have, I'll, I'll have a look on the database again and get some information on this one can't remember the make of it yeah really mind train There we go, it's actually made by Meridian Limited and it's been here since 1991. Like I said about the theming, I'll, I'll show you a bit here, the rock work. It's only polystyrene, uh, yeah it's polystyrene. A lot of it's all just sort of rotted away. But the coaster itself isn't, isn't bad, I remember it being pretty good last time. So you slow down at this point into the helix. Oh, slidey time. Whoa! Woo! Oh, head chopper, brilliant head chopper there. Choo choo. Yeah, a great little coaster actually. Yeah, a little theming on it. All the mesh is showing through here. Right, here we go. Hold on. Whoa. Watch out for the head chopper. Whoa. Yeah, was it? <laughs> three lap special. Love a good three lap special. I mean, as far as the coaster actually goes, it's not too bad actually. It's, it's fairly smooth, 
It is, isn't it? Yeah. Comfortable seats, little lap bar. Let's see the lap bar. It's not down all the way. Here we go, into the mad helix. Whoa! Whoa! Head chopper! Woo! Yeah! Brilliant! Right, I'm on a runaway train was not bad, like I was just saying, on the ride for a 1991 coaster made by a manufacturer I've never really heard, never heard of before. It's all right. Just the theming in the middle is a bit uh, old, you know. Other than that, it's brilliant. It's quite smooth as well. Not too rough for an old coaster. You get your tokens all over the place as well here. There's also a few kids rides. You got the uh, yo-yos. The Dumbos, they actually sold the company, I think it's, uh, oh, I forget, Zamperla maybe, something like that. I think they actually sold a fair few in the UK last year because there's a few parks that they pumped up on. I'm going to try, I'm going to try and give the freak out a go. Spin it fast because I could see him saying to the other lad, spin it, spin it. It's like he was just saying there, fastest waltzers in Europe. Oh my god, where's my drink at? Oh, it's crazy that. I hope the footage come out alright because I couldn't see a thing. Oh, mental.
park. Uh, purely because I just asked an operator, I said, what time is it closing, mate? And he's like, not sure, it's whenever they get told it's closing. So it's eight o'clock now, he said it's between eight and half past, so, um, because the, the log flume's not owned by these, but it closes at the same time, I wanted to get the log flume, I've not done this one before, I didn't do it when we came last time, just wanted to get the log flume before it closes. Saying that on my lot, it's probably already closed, but it's not, I can hear the water. £2.50 I think they said was that. But yeah, Bottoms is alright, it's not the biggest of parks, it's not, it's not got one of the most thrilling rides, but it's good, it's, it's again, it's a, it's a nice little park to kill a few hours of your time. And then obviously if you incorporate it with the Sea Life, uh, not the Sea Life, uh, Seal Sanctuary, which is just up the road, you have a good day out. Skegness isn't too bad, I know the reviews a few years ago was putting it down as one of the worst towns in the UK but personally I think it's better than some towns that I've been to just that's just my opinion I quite like Skegness is the the beaches down here are fantastic and it go, goes right up the right up the coast towards uh, which where does it go Grimsby all the way up to Grimsby and then obviously you've got Mabel Thorpe Clay Thorpe's as well where uh, I wanted to get the picture of the Bottoms amusement sign I oh, know I missed that one at Cleethorpe's where Pleasure Island was, uh, a bit further up the coast. So yeah, £2.50 a go for the log flume. I said I'd give this one a go. Not sure what it's like for wetness, but uh, they're all pretty much the, stay the same. They're all the same layout anyway, all made by Revitron. Like I said, the one at Portland's Park was amazing. You had the guns at the end. So yeah, £2.50 a go for this one. See you when I get on there. <coughs> Excuse me. There, there's the old sign there. Beautiful night tonight. Oh my god, here we go. Oh, this boat is absolutely dripping in here. Oh, here we go. Uh -huh. Oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, a bit moist, a little sprinkle. I don't think there's any on the lens. Oh, well, it's a little little speck, you can live with that. Here we go, back up the second one. Yeah, these are brilliant. I've, I've, done, load, I've done loads of these now. If I come off this, I'll go on the, uh, the Sizzler then. So I know that I've been on this now. But again, like I said, it's not a part of the park. You gotta pay your extra two pound fifty for it. Oh, what a view! What a what a view! Stunning. Oh god, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Uh. Oh my god! <laughs> See what I mean about sliding forward? Oh my god! Oh, I'm soaked. Oh my. Yeah, brilliant. <laughs> I'm the only one on the whole entire ride. Wow, brilliant. Get yourself to Skegness. Awesome ride. Yeah, brilliant. You can't beat a good old travelling flood flume that gets you soaking wet. Oh my god. Yeah, awesome. The only one on it. It's leaking a bit though. Let's get back in the bottoms and get on a few more rides before it closes. But uh, yeah, it's not a bad little park. It, I would say it was on par with some of the piers that we've done, Clacton Pier and a few other places like that. You have got your four coaster credits. There's your old uh, classic sign there, Bottoms Amusements. All right, back in the uh, park now. Just looking at the uh, the picture. Because obviously with the new GoPro, I've got a screen on the back that I'm looking at, and it looks amazing. The seagull just gone past there. Not a cloud in the sky, and it's a brilliant drive. I mean, if you've never been to Lincolnshire, it's just like this. The landscaping is amazing. Well, there actually there isn't any. It's just all fields, but it's so flat. As soon as you get in to uh, to Lincolnshire, you know you're here. And it's one of them. It's just it's so surreal, especially if you've never been to the east coast of England before. 
But yeah, the ghost train's not bad. There's there's loads of rides here. There's plenty to do for a few hours. Uh, Ten past eight, still open. So I'll get on the pirate ship, uh, probably the Twister, and then uh, call it a day here at Bottoms Pleasure Beach. Quite a steep one. Here we go. Woo! Uh, it's coming towards the end of the day here. Not like we've had much of a day to be honest, uh, but it's been good. We've pretty much been on everything, apart from the the freak out thing. Even if I could fit on it, I, I don't. I don't like them sort of rides. Anything like bolsters as well. Anything that's massively spinny. It's got a lot of G-force on it like that, it's just not for me. And like I said uh, in the Leesburg vlog, the Loki that we went on with Sean was amazing. But that was borderline, that was borderline blackoutness for me. That, that was just so intense, but really good. Lovely Ferris wheel. Yeah, just been on the ghost train again. It's all right. It's better than the one that's at West Midland Safari Park, I tell you that. Right, we've got 15 minutes left of the party, just come on the tannoy. So I'll try and get the caterpillar, and then uh, the sizzler if I've got enough time. Oh, she's <laughs> the big apple. Just walk on cues as well. Walk on cues. Here we go. It's right. Give us a little push on the only one on it. Gotta do the caterpillars, haven't you? Sat here doing nothing, I might as well go on it. But yeah, lovely view tonight, that with the ferris wheel and the track going through it. And there's actually not many of these left now that still have the original apple with them. It's good to get on an old classic one. Close the lift still. Here we go. Ah. Woo! Where the apple? Woo! Yeah! <laughs> it's the final ride of the day for going on the flying twist. So it's Sizzler, Twister, all the same thing. So classic one, this one. Yeah, we've had a really good evening, to be honest. I wasn't really planning on coming here tonight, if I'm honest. I was going to probably come here a few hours in the morning, do the seal sanctuary, and then go to um, Fantasy Island. So what we'll do now is I'll do the seal sanctuary in the morning, probably spend about an hour in there. It's only a little place. And then drive down to Ingle Mills for Fantasy Island. Check out Millennium's new paint, check out the other rides as well. There's a couple of new flat rides and things. Uh, we really enjoy Fantasy Island. Let's get on this. Literally five minutes left until the park closes. I'm loving the, uh, the sky though as well. Woo! Well, yeah, I just want to say quickly, if you are coming to bloody visit Fant uh, Fantasy Island um, if you've got time come and check out Bottoms as well it's been here a long time and it's not bad closing in five minutes Woo! Consist uh, consistent this one it is cold though <laughs> and very cold I think it's uh, have something to eat when we've come out of here have some drinks and uh, off to bed I think right that's it all the rides are closed uh, just come on the tannoy then it actually opens up at 11 o'clock tomorrow so yeah, if you come for a weekend. 
make sure you check the website. I did actually check before we came to make sure that the park was open and the times that it was given are not very good. The people walking in there, it's closed now. So yeah, we've had a, an all right evening here. Started off with a bit of footage of the B&B. Uh, it comes with a breakfast as well. Not, uh, should be all right. It's just a bed, it's a bed, isn't it? That's what you want. As long as it's a nice clean room, it doesn't really matter. It was 85 pounds for the, for the two of us, for one night, including breakfast. Oh, I don't really need sunglasses on now either. There you go, Bottles Pleasure Beach. Like I say, never been, come and check it out. Uh, I'm sure we'll probably come back sometime next year, see if there's any improvements, but as far as this year, there's nothing really. It's just a very nice evening. So, I'll see you in the next one from Fantasy Island. Bye for now.